Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching episode six, season one of The Legend of Vox Machina. The last episode. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, they went there. They went there. It that was a dark moment, and it took um like I was in a state of shock, and when the emotion hit, I felt shooketh. Um, Delilah has already displayed that she's pretty powerful with the wraiths and you know, even even Silas and his magic and, and even when they all fought before, like they they seem pretty formidable. And then you get something like this. <sighs> Child's play, like literally flash in the pan, no big deal to them. Everything that's happened so far, they don't even think twice like they're just evil. They're absolutely evil. Um, and that is a terrifying foe. Whew. I don't. Like how Keyleth was afraid to fight the dragons, it's how I feel to fight the Briarwoods. They are something. I think that they're like wonderful characters because they're they're terrifying and they are are meant to be powerful and scary. And I went back because someone sent me the link on uh, Patreon. They they gave me the link to the campaign where that scene happened in particular. And it's really interesting and, and very different to watch it like happen in a campaign, but knowing that it's coming and waiting for the voice actors to have the realization that that's what's happening. Like when Matt's like reading off the descriptions of like the people hanging from the tree and you start to see like everyone realizing what they're looking at, like especially when they're like, that sounds like my character. And then the whole, it's us. I, I'm very glad that they left Trinket out of it because if there had been a bear hanging from that tree, I, I don't, I don't know if I visually could have, I, I would have cracked. Oh my gosh, it wouldn't have been shock anymore. It would have been despair. Um, and I'm so I'm glad that that wasn't in this iteration, but like it was shocking enough, and I started getting tears in my eyes when they started having a realization of who it was because I remember how I felt at the end of the episode. And Matt is such a powerful writer. Like, like for him to come up with these characters, and I don't know if it's just him alone that just sits down and writes these campaigns and what he wants specific characters to do um, that he can control and, and keep the narrative going. Uh, but definitely when he wrote The Briarwoods, I don't know if he had like a tummy ache the whole time, but like, ooh, that just like he's he's got quite the mind. Very creative. And with this show, like, you know, there's like times when it's like, bright and and shining and hopeful like Keyleth holding the sun and then you have dark moments like that that like are in such juxtaposition to everything and just like like you know the the humor that you get from the characters you know like Scanlan saying like oh that's not how I thought I was gonna die I thought it'd be by the hands of a pimp you know choking him to death and him and Vax just you know fist bumping like there's that humor and then there's something like the Briarwoods that you can't take lightly at all I mean, even like the dogs, the, I don't know if they're wraith dogs, zombie dogs, but like just walking in on two legs to drop off the book, like they're a twisted couple and the power that they wield is not only powerful, but it is terrifying. It is scary. And it's going to do some damage to our group. It's funny because an animated show can make me feel like this. I love that. I love that. There's so many people that think like, oh, animation's for kids. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying this story. Um, I know we had like the first campaign, you know, like when we're, we're like learning about the dragon and, and kind of learning about, was it Taldore and, and the group and just kind of seeing their dynamics. But then when the Briarwood arc started, there was a very big shift in heaviness and like, there's a weight to the storyline. And I'm so glad that we have the levity that we do, you know, like, like Grog not being very bright and saying dumb things. Like, I appreciate those moments. and I appreciate Scanlan and his humor and his songs. And, you know, if I wasn't watching a reaction, it could show more like, you know, a lot of his sexuality. Uh, I, I, I just I love that. I love that about the whole group and like what they bring to it. I am, I'm not nervous to get into this. I'm excited because I, I want to see what the response is to the tree because the people in the town had to be terrified. And of course that's, that's Percy's home. And I don't know if they will recognize him as 
as one of the former residents. Um, I, I don't, I don't know. I feel like there's a, a scary vengeance that's coming from No Mercy Percy. I love that nickname. I love Percy. I'm very attracted to Percy. He's my type. <laughs> I saw his Scanlon, so <laughs> do I have a type? Uh, but I, 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 I want to know more about what Scanlon learned from the book. Um, I don't know if he had it long enough to really learn anything. We got the zipper twat thing. <laughs> Ziggurat, zipper twat, whatever it is. Uh, I like the way he said it because it just makes me laugh. You know, uh, I don't know if we get more of Pike necessarily because I know Ashley wasn't part of the game, but like, you know, she could obviously do stuff like uh, Skype and Zoom when she had a chance. So I, I don't think she's like going to be gone for like five episodes and then boom, she's back for, for the last two. Interested in Keyleth and Vax and why Vax uh, doesn't really want him to be involved with Keyleth, but I don't think anybody. Um, I think anybody coming in between her and her brother is a threat to her. And um, I, I, I'm a firm believer of letting people uh, have freedom and be happy. <laughs> so I don't even know if that's that's the real issue, but I'm sure I'll find out. Um, they lost their holy water that they were going to, you know, fight Silas with because that's like one way to kill a vampire. I knew it wouldn't be that easy, um, but we still have the wooden stake that that Vax has. Uh, I'm trying to think of everything that we lost from from Gilmore's shop. I mean, I think there were arrows. I mean, there's probably a lot. It'd be nice if they like found that bag at some point and was able to be like, aha, <laughs> our stuff. I think it shattered. I think the holy water has gone. Uh, but, you know, good old garlic. <laughs> I don't know how to defeat Silas. Um, sunshine. Sunshine, Keyleth. Sunshine. Okay, guys, I'm not going to speculate anymore. I can't wait to get into this reaction and find out what their reaction is to the end of that past episode because whew, that was intense. That was heavy. And I'm ready for levity. <laughs> Okay, guys, let's get into it. Oh, was it the giant that was walking outside? They have us! It sure was! Oh no! Oh! Okay, it just starts out dark again. I'll take the gods! Get out of here! I like Archie, don't kill Archie. God, that thing is terrifying. <laughs> Gonna have fun burning you off my balls. Oh, I hope our group stops that from happening. I like Archie. Okay, I know better than to be watching this because I think there's spoilers in it. I can't help it though, I keep staring at it. And when did all that take place is the other question. Oh god, you don't have to eat the people swinging from the tree! Out of the streets! Hide! Percy? So creepy. Grog, you're part giant. Can you vouch for us? Oh, what? Because we all fucking know each other? <laughs> no. The Dorono Crest. Maybe the Resistance is using it. We're not with them, but we do share an enemy. They wear the Dorolo crest? You truly believe the Dawnfather will send a sign? Shh. That name is forbidden. I think maybe he's a sign. Little Percival. What have you become? I am what they made me. What matters is that you're back. That is a strong line. Hey, I'm a huge fan of Taverns, but this place kind of looks like shit. <laughs> the looks can be deceiving. No, it's, uh, it's shitty on the inside, too. <laughs> Wait. No, 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 These guys are no. suffering because there's no alcohol. Thanks to the Briar Woods, all our resources are dwindling, including ale. I will fucking murder <laughs> We grew up together. His father worked in the kitchen. We'd raise hell all over the castle. Mm. One time... Roots of the Sundry. Ruined a state dinner. Keyleth, what are you gonna do? It's certainly not the worst idea we've had. <laughs> oh, I wanted her to touch the root. 
At the moment, our holy person is elsewhere. Oh. Everlight? Please, hear me. Oh, Jesus. Not what I expected. Okay. Just a dream. It's not a curse. It's me? Typically, that's what creates the block. What's up in your own noggin? Meet the Duke! He's as serious as they come, mate. That looks very serious. Because you'll find the alternative to be most disagreeable. <gasps> Holy cow. So here's my idea how to bust Archie out. I'll Let's hear it. Animals. They'll fetch the jailer's keys. I love this animation. This is a job for Scanlan the Revolutionary. Okay. My pitch, I infiltrate the prison with all these potions I found. I don't know what they do yet, but let's assume they make me a da -dun 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 one man army. <laughs> you think too much. All we're gonna do is kill everyone and leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we kill him too. No. <laughs> Where is Fox Machina? <gasps> What's up, Fox Machina? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 we don't. Oh, God. Gotcha. Cool little thing that he just did there. It'll be easier to avoid capture if we split into two teams. Front door team and back door team. You know Scandog's all about the back door, but- I knew that that was coming. Oh, hello. <laughs> almost. Damn. Go on, Vax. I've almost got shit. Oh, wait, I've got enough Are you kidding me? Doors. Every time they have a door, it just like they can never get through. <laughs> oh, my fingers! It's not a door. It's a thing of evil. <laughs> I'm going to find a window. <laughs> I think somebody actually commented the doors are like their worst enemy. No. I fell oh. out of the window. Yeah, you sure did. Oh, oh. Yuck. Gross. Oh, oh, ew. I love this group. I love them so much. Wait, what's this crowd? Picked it up along the way. Why are you covered in piss? Picked it up along the way. <laughs> Better see. Oh. Vax, get him out of there. <sighs> okay, here we go. Don't they have a key? Dad, I'm telling you, that back door was cursed. <laughs> Is this the afterlife? We're not dead yet, friend. Oh, I love a reunion. Kill the gnome! <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm too handsome to die! <clears throat> agree, agree. <laughs> What's a guy got to do to get some action around here? Scanlan? <laughs> Magic! <laughs> In the tone of Scanlan's hand. <laughs> I love it. Uh, okay, that's intense. I've got you, little one. Aww. Oh, I knew it was gonna happen. No, no, no! No! Keyleth. I'm so impressed, girl. Now we're talking. Was it booze or was it poison? I thought there was a skull in there. Does Grog get a power up from ale? Just like the old days. 
creating a diversion while you get away. That wasn't the point of coming to rescue you. I'm telling you, Archie is badass. Oh, that'll do it. Stoneville. Oh, I forgot that name was on his gun. As promised, you're exempt. How chivalrous. <laughs> oh, wow. What's the mask? I am vengeance for the Dorolos. <laughs> the Dorolos. Now that takes me back. Some folks you kill because you're ordered to. Them, I killed because I wanted to. Let me say. That's why your name's on that gun. Wait, something worked. Oh. Good for you, Percy. I wanted you to know it was me. Oh. Percy. Percival! What the f are you doing? I am the sole surviving Dorolo. I will have my vengeance, Percy, chill. and no one will stand in my way! But, Percy, you are not the last Dorolo. What? Your sister, Cassandra. <gasps> she lives. Grog, toss the booze! Oh, but I just got it! Just do it! <laughs> Come on, Groggy. I really dig that animation. Oh, good imagery. Percy. Cassandra? I'm sure you've heard about your brother. But this changes nothing. Ah! Uh, sucks that the fucking Briarwoods have her, though. Damn it. Okay, no Mercy Percy strikes again. <laughs> Although, uh, this time, um, his he looked like a completely different person when he really got, like... In vengeance mode. Was it just me or was he saying lines from movies? I felt like he said, like, I am vengeance. And then he said something else that was like. I, I feel like that's from a movie. Anyway, uh, I love that the name of the episode is Spark of the Rebellion because uh, I'm also a Star Wars fan. And that's probably uh, one of my favorite songs from. Uh, what would that be? The Last Jedi? Yeah. <laughs> um the the whole lead up to all that was really awesome uh but like yeah the, the 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 overall dark tone still remains it's still very heavy uh the the giant was terrifying and i knew immediately that i liked archie i don't know if it was the accent if he's just another short guy where i'm like short king uh but i, I knew immediately that i liked him and i'm, I'm glad he survived um, I thought maybe the the chick with the short hair was Cassandra because that's who they showed right after. No. And I remember they didn't call her that either. I like that it's not just our group now, that there's like a, a, an actual group of people that are part of a rebellion. Uh, that they, they, they wanted a fight. They got a fight. And while it's a win now, I don't think it's going to go unanswered. Um, I, I definitely think there's more coming. Now, Keyleth going over the roots and almost touching the roots and then Grog grabbing her. <laughs> Damn it. Um, I wanted to see what would happen when she tried to talk to the tree. Um, especially because we see how powerful she's growing. Like every episode, like there's something, whether she, you know, she's snarling because Vax uh, was being hurt and she saves Vax's life or, um, you know, the sun thing. But in this instance, she turned into a tiger. A, a, I think it's a tiger. 
a uh, leopard. I don't know. It looked like a tiger. Um, and I think I try to ignore the opening sequence because I feel like there's spoilers in it, but I think I remember actually seeing a tiger, but I thought it was more like a trinket situation, but I think maybe I should just watch it because, um, it's, uh, it's not like I know when it's coming. Uh, <laughs> I try not to watch it. I'll start like watching it. And I'm like, stop it. Of course, knowing that like the rebellion is, uh, running under the Dorolo banner and there's still a, another Dorolo that's alive, uh, Cassandra, um, I wonder if, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure she's being held, um, by use of magic, but, uh, that seems that the, the Rolo name still means something, uh, that means that Percy still means something. He's happy now. Like he, he was kind of having like the, the, the shiny glasses moment. Um, and then like, obviously the mask and then the, the difference in his face um, and then he softens and he goes back to normal Percy when he like smiles and is like, I have a sister. Um, so I wonder, I mean, I, I, I'm sure that that has something to do with a power or a level up or a change, um, in, in the character. Uh, but I, I don't, I don't know why visually he looked so different and that it was startling how different he looked. And like when he's getting angry, I was like, no, 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 no. Because it felt like he was going to lose. It felt like he was going to blow his top, like, like something really bad was coming and he almost shot backs. So yeah, something bad was coming. Um, like, like I said, the moments of levity, obviously the whole getting into a door thing. Like I said, somebody had said something about how like Vox Machina's biggest enemy is doors. <laughs> so, and like now every time they have to like break in somewhere, it's all I'm really going to think about. Um, I hope Grog gets his ale. There's not going to be much available, but you had to give that up. I love the animation that we got in this episode. Uh, Grog throwing the bottle or the barrel of ale and, uh, like the slow motion of that. And then like the flames as like Percy's walking forward, um, the, the slow motion of him walking, like at first, like just Percy with like the glasses, like the, the bright glasses. And then the next scene is him wearing the mask. Uh, I think that that's just beautiful animation. I'm very impressed. Um, a lot of the stuff, there's still, still a lot of gross stuff. The, the one woman dying because of the hammer at, from uh, Stonefell, and you know, it's it's some of these visuals. Sometimes it's it's not like I'm grossed out by it, but there's sometimes I don't want to watch it. Like sometimes it's it's just too much, and I don't, I don't need to watch it. <laughs> but damn, do I enjoy it! Okay, guys, if you want to watch the full length episode, it will be available on my Patreon as well as up to one episode early. Uh, there are also full-length episodes for other shows over there that I am currently watching, like The Expanse, House of the Dragon, um, Wednesday, which definitely has been a good time to watch. I thoroughly enjoy that. A lot of the stuff that I've been watching either revolved around magic or dragons. Um, and then there's The Expanse that's science, which is just, you know, magic with less flair. <laughs> but still damn good. Uh, and then uh, future movie reactions. Uh, I've been trying to really get through a lot of the TV stuff, but I, I want to be able to finish Vox Machina before season two. I want to be able to watch the trailer for season two because a lot of people were really excited for the trailer. Um, and I, I, I'm eagerly, eagerly excited to watch all of that in real time with you guys. I don't think they release them all at the same time. I think it's weekly unless they do release them all at the same time, then I won't be watching it with you guys. Um, I will be watching it after you and then you can find me. I'll be here. <laughs> so in the meantime, like, subscribe, uh, leave me a comment down below. Uh, what, what, uh, what's your favorite Percy? Is it, is it just regular Percy? Is it no mercy Percy or is it damn Percy? Like, like which, which one? <laughs> Did you guys instantly like Archie like I did? Because I immediately heard his voice and saw his face and I was like, it's our boy. <laughs> He's one of us. Did the, uh, did the sun tree scene from the last episode, like did that, if you weren't, if you weren't watching the campaign, did it shock you more? Or was it a scene you were looking forward to because you did watch the campaign and you wanted to watch it visually unfold? Was it as shocking? Or was it worse? You tell me. But in the meantime, guys, I can't wait to watch more. I can't wait to get more into this. And I cannot wait for season two. Super excited. But in the meantime, I'll see you.